What I would like to know is what happened, because the whole thing seemed to hit the buffers. We've still got this major problem, which is getting worse and payments getting blocked, and we seem to have lost interest in trying to, in fact, enforce what is a quite specific offence, that is, parking on payments and causing obstruction. So I'd just like to hear what David's got to say about the latest, um, uh, if you like, initiatives, and maybe Mark would like to say something about it, the latest initiatives on trying to do something for people who are vulnerable. And we've got into our 2020 vision, we should look after vulnerable people. And these people who are wandering around, unable to stay on the pavement because of some plonker, for want of a better word, and a ban on there, then something should be done about it. And we have a responsibility and duty as a council to deal with it. Thank you, Chair. Yeah. 
have got figures of fatalities, but there will be a fatality if we don't work together. Um, we talk about joint working in partnership with the police, with the council, um, and something we really need to do about this. I know it's not particularly, um, you're not measuring pedestrian casualties um, in terms of accidents, um, haven't happened as such, but they will. I mean, I've got one young man in my ward, and whether we're supposed to raise this or not, I don't know. Um, but I think we've had this discussion um, where he has to ride his uh, wheelchair, it's not a mobility scooter, it's a wheelchair, um, down the centre of the road because he can't get past parked cars. Now, I don't know why we can't, between us, between the agencies, enforce these. Maybe it's traffic wardens that enforce them, but something has to be done. I've got a second question if I can as well, and it's something totally different. You refer to um, courses that we have running for senior drivers. I want to know how that's promoted, because I've never seen anything promoted.
to the comments that uh, Councillor Ellerton was making in relation to those yellow sticker cards. I mentioned at the time you should be sticking to it, maybe all of them. Apparently, you felt somewhere on that one. But again, the comments are quite positive. The yeah, Pedestrian Association, Parliament, the Council, and the Police have produced the little blue ones, which do work wonderfully. Uh, so, I, I think the tone of the from uh, Mr. Campbell, uh, it's slightly jaundiced in, in some sense, uh, fixated in a particular point in a particular way. The gentleman has been here, he has addressed the committee on more than one occasion. We've listened to all the points he's had to make. We take on board everything that's uh, required and we do everything within the law. <coughs> and that's all we can do is within the law. And I'll pick the point that Ron just made there because I made the comment, uh, a note that I was listening to him speak. It's the community police support officers the ones that are mainly doing the work in my board and on the periphery. And I could go back to the comment you made about going to our park. It's easier to get to the council to chest it from where I left. But, but anyway, um, there is that point, something that will actually well, might jump on us sooner than we think actually, with what's going on with the health. But getting back to the point, given the amount of pedestrians that there are filled with seriously injured. Comments have been made by colleagues here earlier on, quite rightly wrong. They should be dealt with under item, agenda item 8 on the report, because that's where I believe they will be, because I've got a series of at least five questions in relation to that at that particular time. But as far as this report by David, supported by Mark Smith, it's absolutely crystal clear on the way the council works, the way we do things, and I think he's highlighted all the relevant points that need to be highlighted and the failures of the pedestrian audit, and I'll say that the audit, the audit was done by Mr. Campbell, for Mr. Campbell, using Mr. Campbell's information. Thank you, Chair. Thanks for that, David. Um, Chris, one more thing. Thank you, patients. Uh, I won't take up too much of the uh, meeting's time, I'm by the way. Um, thank you for that uh, comprehensive report, very, very useful. I think that, um, one of the areas that does concern me is, is still is child, is child uh, uh, deaths and um, accidents. And um, as much as um, you say here that uh, there's not much more you can do, and I appreciate that the numbers are coming down, I know you didn't say there's not much more you can do, so slight like paraphrasing that. What I think might be possible um, would be of these uh, uh, six children under four years of age who almost under supervision were still injured, I think there might be a piece of work that we could do as the council to perhaps do a little bit of an analysis of you know, what's going on in, 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 in those particular cases. Are there, any things, are there any aspects of those cases that are similar? You might have already got that. It looks like you're going to get it for me now. I don't need to see it now, that's fine. But um, you know, a little bit more about that then as a future point would be, would be useful because we don't want to see an end of the child death on the roads. And I think we're, we're getting closer and I'm really impressed with that. But it would be really, really, really reassuring to feel that we would get it that was our top priority and we were really going to sort of end that happening as much, you know, as much as we possibly could. Very other quick point on the uh, controversial illegal parking notices. Remember we are issuing 6,000 actual illegal penalty notices. So you know the you know the actual ones, 6,000, it's not it's you know it's nothing to be sniffed at. So actual illegal notices are being uh, you know given out at a you know a large scale. So maybe we jump beyond the um, be no, good. I'm going to the other line through the chair. Not okay. Not okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Thank you.
kind of, I don't know, scheduled in, it would give officers an opportunity to perhaps provide more full answers that may be no satisfaction or frustration, as is often the case in this meeting. Um, but that's not the question I have. My question's around the strategy. Um, you mentioned the strategy is forthcoming, that you're producing one for the borough, and it should fit in with a wider one for the city region. When do you see that report coming into fruition? Will it be reported here? And are you in conversations with your colleagues at the city region level to make sure there's no duplication, or you're not, in effect, wasting your time in certain areas that they're going to have? Do you have
first was lack of strategy, you've all was um, best practice in the show, and one was preemptive work. So, I mean, you've covered you know, the other two in that last, that last count. Uh, I know then that that is being done. <coughs>
important. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for that. Dave, thanks very much. Um, you've been sitting there now for well over an hour and you've answered every question comprehensively. Um, and I thank you for that. And I thank you for the report and you, Mark. And all of your departments as ever. I, I personally speak to you. You do a terrific job. Um, could I now call, could I call Ian and Victoria forward, please? And Victoria's would like to make a, a couple of points and then um, if, if Ian wants to make any points that, that, on things that have already been said and the same with you Victoria and then if members once again want to ask questions of, of the two parties and if anything relevant you feel comes back that you'd like to ask David about again um, you please do so. So can I ask you um, to make your, your statement, Victoria, please. Thank you, Councillors. Um, the first point is the Brexit report uh, really only it, it seems to assume that all the reduction in casualties has been caused by um, things that have been done in the council. But over the period that he's been talking about, major improvements in car design which will have drastically reduced car casualties and it's our belief that there are probably considerably less pedestrian miles walked now in the world. So there are less pedestrians walking about because people are frightened in many places to go out on the roads, especially the vulnerable and the elderly. Um, so we would want that to be taken. I don't know if any figures are available.
understanding is that means that errors of judgment and lapses of concentration are normal human behaviour and road designers should always look at how road conditions could be improved so such normal human behaviour does not result in air size. Um, so we believe it should be incorporated in the Liverpool Region Road Safety Strategy and the Road Council one. Uh, that's all specifically on it. I would say that I have I congratulate the Council on the uh, Drive Safer Longer course. I have myself actually done it. Uh, it was very excellent. I did it by my U3A, which is promoting, U3As are promoting it quite heavily. I would say though that during the two hour group talk, one of the people in, it, in the group, not me, not instigated by me, asked why the council was promoting it and one of the two ladies running it said, because you're all much safer in the car than if you let your answers to us.
Andrew Hassel, Chief Superintendent of the Wider Structure Chair. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm the early commander for the Wirral and I have been since uh, back in the week, but also with John Martin. Um, really want to echo the comments that have been made. Um, there is a lot of education that goes on through the schools, officers, and working partners, um, kind of <coughs> campaigns to educate. You know, we've got issues such as Pokemon Go and things like that now on smartphones. You know, to look down the West Coast, you know, the children walking around just looking at the screen. Yeah. It's the potential issues that they might be. Um, I don't think, certainly, in a policing perspective, uh, I would disagree with the comments from any of the members, uh, particularly around uh, inconsiderate parking and the impact that has to um, vulnerable people. Um, and I am aware that we do have uh, the notices that, that you, you've demonstrated, or those don't have facts and things to hand about how many we might issue. We do, um, probably to put it into context, really, um, this at least takes over 2 million calls on the public each year. And since 2010, our budget has been reduced by 70 million pounds. And over the next few years, to 2019, another 24 million is going to be saved. So as a result of that, you can imagine where that comes from to people. And so we have to prioritise our resource. And obviously one of the first priorities is around reducing KSIs. And they are at the top end of the scale. That's not to say that there's obviously inconsiderate parking. It's not an issue we would like to deal with. And certainly at a community level, um, we have issues, and we've had them recently within the Morton area, about uh, inconsiderate use of vehicles from delivery drivers, parking on pavements. And the, the, the neighbourhood officers are trying to work with the delivery car drivers, the shops, trying to educate them, because education is, is the best way that we can progress, because we haven't got uh, a person on every street corner to, uh, to, to deal with all those issues. We are recruiting, and we are recruiting more police officers. We are recruiting more police community support officers. You know, in very well, like any organisation, we've got a turnover of the staff to the time, etc. Um, and so this is still investment. We've overcome that period where we did freeze those sort of intakes, and, and we are looking to build um, our organisation back up to where we would like to be. But obviously, the challenges ahead around the funding. Um, it's going to be um, a structural change to the organisation. January next year, which is going to have um, some benefits to us really because um, we recognise that one of our priorities is around answering emergency calls and the volume is such that we are invariably dragging resources from Liverpool to us all the time because we've got a um, particularly high call, call volume within us uh, But what we're trying to do then is dedicate resources at a community level that can concentrate on the issues that are being brought up in this police board work with key community support officers, hub inspectors and targets obviously over a longer period of time, taking a bit more of a problem solving approach, educating, maybe there could be some enforcement in there and um, you know publicising sort of like the outcome of support. Um, and obviously you know as with the fire thing we can we can use the biggest six thousand um, in civil notices but of course on top of that there'll be all sorts of kinds of can enforcement notices and, and the likes that we do around speeding Certainly one of my um, members of my command team had, had, a, had a meeting at, uh, back in last week with, uh, with Mark just around making sure that as we move our transition towards our new organisational structure, we have some close partnership governance around some of the issues that are being raised here, particularly around what, what we are both doing. We're looking to, as an example, we're looking to refresh using some of the DFT data where the hotspots might be, where we are placing them. Yourself. I mean, for years, people drive on the Chester Highway, the roads all in Cheshire, but then slam the brakes on because there's always a van there. And people are so used to it, and does that still correlate now with the, with the figures? And then each month, as an organisation, we obviously pl provide KSI figures, um, any injury statistics, and um, CPFT, and that they are scrutinised, you know, and obviously used as that wider national wider national work. But I just wanted to add that for context, really. Hands going on. So, are we going to 